PGATour.com presents Top 10 Texas Natives. Born and raised in Dallas, Justin Leonard attended the University of Texas and was the individual NCAA champion in 1994. Leonard's 12 wins on the PGA Tour include the 1997 British Open and the 1998 Players' Championship, lifting him into the top 10 of the official world golf ranking for 24 weeks in 1998 and 99. Leonard has also qualified for three Ryder Cup teams and in 1999 sank the decisive 45-foot putt for birdie to complete a remarkable comeback by the U.S. team on the final day. Coming from a golfing family, Jack Burke Jr. started the game at a young age in Fort Worth under the watchful eye of his father. He turned professional in 1940, served in the Marines during the Second World War, and taught as a teaching pro after the war, before embarking on a professional career that produced 16 PGA Tour titles and one of the most celebrated seasons in the game's history. In 1956, Burke captured the Masters and the United States Open and was named PGA Player of the Year. The owner of 14 PGA Tour titles, Dallas native Ralph Gouldall, according to fellow Texan Jimmy Demerit, may have been the greatest golfer ever for a short period of time. When the Western Open was considered a major, Gouldall won it three times in the late 1930s. He was runner-up to Byron Nelson in the 1937 Masters, finished second to Henry Picard in 1938 at Augusta, and then edged Sam Snead for the coveted green jacket in 1939. Gouldall also captured back-to-back -back U.S. Opens in 1937 and 38. Many people don't realize that McKinney, Texas native Tom Kite spent almost 200 weeks inside the top 10 of the official World Golf Ranking in the late 1980s and mid-1990s. The former University of Texas All-American won a majority of his 19 PGA Tour titles during that stretch, including the 1992 U.S. Open at Pebble Beach. Kite would eventually become the first player in tour history to reach the $9 million mark in career earnings. A contemporary of Ben Hogan and Byron Nelson, Lloyd Mangrum often played in the shadow of his legendary counterparts, but his career achievements stood on their own. The Trenton, Texas native won 36 PGA Tour events, including the 1946 U.S. Open. But the following season was his finest, producing six tournament titles in 1947, finishing in the top 10 in 21 of the tournaments he entered that incredible year. One of the brightest young stars in the Lone Star State was Austin native Ben Crenshaw, who won 17 amateur events, including three straight NCAA individual titles for the University of Texas from 1971 to 73. He went on to win 19 times on tour and claimed two Masters Green Jackets, in 1984, and most memorably in 95, a week after the death of his teacher and mentor Harvey Penick. Gentle Ben was also at the helm of the victorious 1999 U.S. Ryder Cup team, captaining one of the greatest moments in Ryder Cup history. Born in Houston in 1910, Jimmy Demerit was one of the most prolific winners in the history of Texas golfers. He was a 31-time PGA Tour champion, and is perhaps best known for becoming the first player to win three Masters titles in 1940, 47, and 50. The stylish Demerit also posted a 5-0 record in three Ryder Cup appearances and was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 1983. An underprivileged kid who learned to play the game by caddying and hustling, Dallas-born Lee Buck Trevino went on to notch 29 PGA Tour wins, including six major championships. During his epic 1971 season, Trevino became the first golfer to win the U.S., British, and Canadian Opens all in the same year, a feat that has only been matched by Tiger Woods. The Merry Mets, who showcased one of the best personalities of his era, also added another 29 titles and four majors on the Champions Tour. Born in Waxahachie, Byron Nelson is sixth on the all-time PGA Tour victory list with 54, despite retiring at the age of 34. Five of those titles were major championships, two Masters, two PGA Championships, and one U.S. Open. Nelson's 1945 campaign is widely considered to be the greatest single season in the game's history. He recorded 18 victories, including 11 straight, likely one of the most unbreakable records in all of sports. 
Today, the HP Byron Nelson Championship continues the enduring legacy of one of the game's giants, Lord Byron Nelson. Born in Stephenville and raised in Fort Worth, the great Ben Hogan is widely considered to be the best ball striker in golf history, renowned to this day for his tremendous influence on the theory of the golf swing. The Hawk won 64 PGA Tour tournaments, fourth on the all-time list, despite having his career interrupted in its prime by World War II and a life-threatening car accident in 1949. Miraculously, he recovered to win the 1950 U.S. Open. The owner of nine major championships, Ben Hogan is one of only five men to complete the career Grand Slam.